So about a month ago, I received this comment asking what you should do when your six string binder is full, but you don't wanna get a new binder. And I also posted a poll on my community tab about it. So starting with the easiest solution, which the commenter also gave, and that is to store away your old journal spreads. So any storage container or filing folder that you have, or even any space you have on your desk or shelf are all great options for this idea. By the way, this can also apply to refills that you wanna change out, even if you haven't used them yet. So the next idea that you can try is to make a scrapbook page or a collage out of your older journal spreads. So this could be a great idea for those that are into creative journaling. So adding your previous stick string binder pages either to a larger page, so say a 12 by 12 scrapbook page or even an A4 size page, for example, are both great ways to preserve your old binder refills while also freeing up space in your binder. Another idea if you're more practical is to throw them away or to recycle them, especially if you're thinking it does not make sense to keep all these papers and you really want a fresh start in your six string binder. Another option is to use a storage pocket within your six string binder so whether it's a large zipper pouch that you have a refill that's a storage envelope or even the side pockets on your binder cover these can all help to free up space in your six string binder while also giving you the ability to store your old binder refills or binder refills that you haven't used yet so another option is to use a different six string binder if you want or if you don't mind buying a new one so you can use this binder to store your old journal spreads or refills that you don't want so this can be a three ring binder or a six ring binder of the same size or larger. However, if you plan on using the rings in that specific binder to add the binder refills into it, you wanna be sure that they line up unless you have refills that you can actually store them inside and then add those to the binder rings. So this option is great if you want kind of like an overflow binder and then a different binder dedicated to something specific such as journaling. So let me know down in the comments below how you like to store your old journal spreads or even if you store them at all. And be sure to check out my 16 Viner playlist for more 16 Viner content. And if you haven't subscribed yet to be a part of the kitten family, be sure to do so below. And I love you guys so much kittens and thanks for watching. Adios.